Hello everyone. Hope you are enjoying happy and good life. I am Muhammad Asif. We are going to start our new chapter rate of reaction or reaction kinetics. This can also be called as reaction kinetics. In this chapter, we will learn about the physical property of chemical reactions that is called rate. Rate means that how much speedily a reaction takes place. The rate of reaction is defined as is defined as the increase of concentration of products or decrease in concentration of reactants per unit time is called rate of reaction. The units are mole per dm cube per second. The mole per dm cube is the concentration and per second mean how much concentration is going to change in a unit time or in a second. There are three types of reactions with respect to their rates. Number one, fast reactions. Second, moderate reaction. And third, slow reactions. Now, I will give you example and definition one by one. These are not too much difficult. The definition of fast reaction first those reactions which takes place within a fraction of second so much speedily in a very lesser time the reaction is completed if it is so then these are called as fast reactions for example ionic precipitation if we perform a reaction and precipitation takes place, then just only in a fraction of second, precipitate will form by mixing the two solution. Similarly, reaction of L3 metals with acids and water. Whenever we will take reactive metal, just like sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, if we put these metals into water or in acid, explosive reaction will take place, abrupt reaction will take place, and these reactions are called as fast reactions. As the reactive metals also on reacting with acids and water explode, that's why uh, these are called as very fast reaction. Next, next is moderate reactions. Those reactions for which change in concentration of reactant and products is neither too much fast nor too much slow and is easily measurable. Those are called as moderate reaction, moderate reactions. Example, if we react calcium carbonate with acid, either any type of acid, carbon dioxide will be produced. The carbon dioxide gas production or mass loss in these reactions can easily be monitored with the help of stop clock 
in what time how much gas is produced or how much mass is decreased that is measurable that's why such type of reactions are called as moderate reaction second second example is hydrolysis of ester we know that ester is formed by the chemical reaction between carboxylic acid and alcohols now these esters can be hydrolyzed and on hydrolysis ester will produce same alcohol and carboxylic acid and that reaction can easily be monitored the third one is disappearing of a cross image seen through the reaction solution when reaction of sodium thiosulfate and hcl is performed and this disappearance of cross is due to the production of insoluble sulfur element as the rate of all these reactions can easily be calculated that's why these are called as moderate reactions the third one are slow reactions those reactions which take too much time for the completion of such reaction that the time rate of reaction become meaningless so much time is taken in these reactions examples are number one resting of iron for example the resting of iron takes place throughout all the time that's why the rate of reaction for resting of iron is not easily to measure because the reaction is too much slow second is ripening of fruits the same is happening here third is formation of ozone at room temperature and pressure because the oxygen molecule don't react easily with each other to produce ozone that's why the formation of ozone at room temperature and pressure is too much difficult that's why it will take too much time so this is also a very slow reaction for which the rate of reaction is approximately equal to zero now in case of rate of reaction we have to perform experiment in lab and we have to get data with respect to time there are so many physical and chemical method to measure the rate of reaction there is dielectromagnetic method there is refractive index method there is potentiometric method there is ph matter uh, ph uh, um, uh, change method so many methods are there in which either we can measure the rate of reaction using by collecting the gases produced or by noting the mass decreases as a result of a chemical reaction in this o level class we have performed so many reactions there are so many activities present in the federal book for example this 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 diagram is indicating the reaction between certain substances in which gas is produced due to evolution of this gas the mass of the overall contents will start decreasing because we have taken a digital balance to check the effect of chemical reaction on the mass of contents as the gas will be escaped out we have taken here a cotton plug this is just because we want to escape the gas particle only 
not the vapor of water or any liquid that's why we have put cotton plug here to stop the vapor we want to allow only gas molecules to escape so in this case in this case we have in this figure we have shown that gas molecules are going due to which mass is decreasing whenever reaction will start we will stop uh, we will start the stopwatch immediately we will record the reading after every uh, one minute or two minute to note down how much mass is decreased as a result we will get data of mass loss versus time that might be recorded in this manner this is the figure the question is calculate the mean rate of reaction for 3 gram of calcium carbonate we have taken different masses of calcium carbonate and the volume of carbon dioxide is recorded after every 10 second after every 10 second this is the volume of carbon dioxide obtained similarly this figure shows that particular reaction in which we can judge the rate of reaction judge the rate of reaction by placing a cross written on paper under the reaction mixture flask and we will view from the top the cross and will note the time how much time it will take to disappear this disappearance of cross will depend upon the production of the insoluble substances in the reaction mixture that will make the solution cloudy and automatically the cross will disappear after some time now if this cross disappear in a very short time it means that rate of reaction is very fast and if the cross disappear after a long time it means that rate of reaction is slow there are so many methods in which we can use different types of apparatus and find out the data remember from all those data we have to plot the graphs in all these graphs in all these graphs these three graphs represent that on x axis we have taken time because it is independent and on y axis we take dependent ordinate now this graph is categorically indicating that as a reaction will proceed and we will plot a graph we will obtain a curve which will uh, become horizontal after some time when the graph will become horizontal it means that reaction is completed no change is taking place either in concentration either in volume either in mass or whatever whenever the curve become horizontal to time axis it means that reaction is stopped if we divide total change in concentration or volume by the total time taken for the completion of reaction then we will get average rate of reaction but if we want to find out the rate of reaction at a particular instant then such type of graph we will plot 
if we want to calculate the reaction at this time particular event then what we will do we will take here a point and draw a tangent for this point on the curve then we will select two points above and below the joining and then we will develop a right angle triangle using both of these points here perpendicular and this is also a perpendicular this is a right angle triangle then the change in concentration or volume is divided by this change of time from these two intervals this will gives us a rate of reaction at this particular time now this graph is also indicating that initially the rate of reaction will be fast and as the time will pass on the rate of reaction will become slow 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 and finally when it will become horizontal reaction will stop in some cases initially the rate of reaction is slow but after some time it become fast this is because sometime in some chemical reaction the product formed act as a catalyst for the reaction and then the speed of reaction become fast now uh, these two these two reactions uh, these two graphs are also important these are also indicating that if this graph we consider this graph is indicating that the process a or reaction a is faster than b but in both the reaction the chemical substances taken are in equal amount because both of the curves are meeting at a certain point and if we add catalyst in both of these reactions then gradient this and gradient this b will be obtained on adding catalyst the rate of reaction will become faster and automatically the curve will move towards the y axis y axis now this graph is also important this is indicating that quantity of substances in this reaction is half as compared to this and also the quantity of both this reaction and for this reaction is same because they are meeting at certain point if we consider the rate of reaction the rate of reaction of this reaction b is slower than the reaction a and the rate of reaction of this is slower than this if both of these curves are drawn for the same chemical reaction then it is indicating that this reaction this curve might be due to due to the addition of catalyst and this curve might be for the reaction without catalyst in this manner the quantity of the substances can also be judged now from here this portion of the curves indicate the rate of reactions always uh, remember now uh, uh, this portion remember this portion indicates the rate of reaction normally that rate of reaction 
if we add something or due to any factor if rate of reaction is increased or decreased definitely this portion of the graph will indicate that either the reaction is going faster or slower so much information we can obtain from graphs now the rate of reaction can easily be explained on the basis of the collision theory what is the collision theory according to the collision theory rate of reaction is explained on the basis of collision theory all particles of reactants collide with one another and as a result a reaction takes place second a rate of reaction is directly proportional to the product product mean multiply product of molar concentration of reactants this is indicating that if the concentration of reactant is very high then the rate of reaction will be very fast and the third point collision theory explained that if we increase the 10 degree centigrade temperature for a reaction which is taking place at normal conditions of temperature and pressure this will double the rate of reaction the rate of reaction will become double due to rise in 10 degree centigrade temperature now these are the important points of collision theory on the basis of which we can easily explain the rate of reaction of all now there are different factors affecting rate of reaction what are these factors these factors are number 1 temperature temperature normally on increasing the temperature rate of reaction increases so we can easily say that temperature is directly proportional to the rate of reaction if we will increase the temperature rate of reaction will increase if we will decrease the uh, rate, uh, temperature rate of reaction will decrease we put food items into refrigerator to save them from deteriorating what is the function of the refrigerator it decreases the temperature it means that those reactions which can be happened at normal temperature using refrigerator we are trying to stop them so the rate of reaction decreases so the food item remain safe from deterioration second pressure as the pressure is only more effective when the reactants or products are present in the gaseous state only the gaseous state is more disturbed by pressure the pressure has no effect in case of liquid and solid so on increasing pressure normally the rate of reaction increases it is also directly proportional to the rate of reaction why because whenever we will increase the pressure the gas particle will come closer to each other they will collide with one another more frequently the frequency of collision will increases as a result of collision more energy will be produced and that energy will convert reactant into product by breaking their bonds easily so the high pressure also is directly proportional to the rate of reaction third one concentration concentration mean quantity of other substance present in a particular a definite uh, volume of solution concentration is directly proportional to the rate of reaction if we increase the concentration 
for example if we take two solution one molar and two molar it means that in two molar solution double quantity of a solute is present so as the number of particles will be increased in two molar solution the rate of reaction will also become double as compared to one molar solution so the concentration is also directly proportional to the rate of reaction if we will increase the concentration rate of reaction will become fast if we will decrease the concentration reaction will become slow down fifth is uh, fourth is particle size the particle size is inversely proportional to the rate of reaction as a particle size of the particle will uh, decrease as the particle size is less then the reaction will be fast if the particle size are larger then the rate of reaction will be slower for example a big log of wood will burn slowly or difficultly in oxygen but if we break the big log of wood into smaller pieces those smaller pieces can easily be ignited can easily be burned so the rate of reaction will increase as the particle size will decrease normally in coal mines whenever naked flame is there explosion takes place and the same may be happen in flour mills because in both of these places the particles fuel particles rather are present in very small size that's why they will catch fire quite easily burned easily rate of reaction will will become faster that's why explosion takes place number 5 catalyst catalysts are those substances which speed up the chemical rate of reaction speed up the rate of reaction by lowering the energy of activation without being consumed in a chemical reaction that's why the catalyst just only lower the energy of activation and then speedily convert reactants into products now all these factors are easily explained on the basis of collision theory finally there are some key concepts to consider to remember these are the most important number 1 as i have explained already whenever graph move towards the time axis then reaction that will represents the slow reaction the reaction is very slow if the graph is moving towards time axis and if the graph is moving towards the vertical axis this will represents the fast reaction third if the curves of two or more experiments join together on a grid this will indicate same quantity of reacting substances are present in all reactions but if the height of the graph change for different experiments this will show the different amount of reactants are present at the starting point and 
finally the effect of concentration of the reaction is considered and not of the number of moles remember always the rate of reaction of one molar solution if we take 10 cm cube of it that will be faster as compared to the 10 cm cube of 0.1 molar solution now if we take next 10 cm cube of one molar solution and 100 cm cube of 0.1 molar solution volume has no effect the rate of reaction of 100 cm cube of 0.1 molar solution will be less as compared to the rate of reaction of 10 cm cube of 1 molar in this video lecture i have explained all the concepts regarding rate of reaction I hope you have understood all these concepts quite easily and uh, uh, in case of any problem you can also visit study of uh, change. I thank you all.